7,200 to 12,470 kilovolts three-phase distribution line, storm and high winds, falling tree, three primary conductors and neutral broken, two utility line workers. Hey Gary, the riser is too close to the roadside phase conductor. I'm going to need you to remove and secure all three risers and cut the three primary conductors to the ground for repair. No problem. I'm pretty beat. Glad this is our last job for the day. Both line workers in the lift, wearing rubber insulating gloves, but no rubber insulating sleeves and hardly any distribution cover-up. No installation of line hoses or blankets on the arms, pole, conductors, risers, or cutouts. Once all three conductors were sagged back into normal position at the cutout pole, the temporary protective grounds were removed and the circuit was re-energized to restore service to a critical customer. The remainder of the job included unrolling risers, reattaching them to the phase conductors, removing grounds on UD risers, and closing the switches. At this time, one of the linemen unrolled the center phase riser and connected it back to the phase conductor. When the two line workers attempted to unroll the roadside riser to connect it to the roadside phase, an electrical arc occurred when the roadside riser contacted the middle phase riser and the equipment arm. Both line workers received an electric arc flash and were treated for flash burns to their arms, chest, and face. This incident could have been avoided. A failure to use proper distribution cover equipment resulted in this flash. Oh.